So uh, on behalf of Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith, I'm Carrie Champion, and this is First Take. We welcome you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Skip, would you like to address this crowd? I would. I just want to say thank you, Cleveland, for showing us so much love and so, so much, much support. Love. Ditto. <laughs> uh, obviously, we're talking all things Game 4, so let's get to it. Game 4 tonight, 9 o'clock, ABC. Uh, apparently, some say it is a must-win game for the Warriors. Obviously, the Cavs are up 2-1. And now the Golden State Warriors are favored by three points, Skip. Earlier today, though, it was 2.5. I think Ozmakers in Vegas, apparently, according they to you, to they listened to I you. Had an impact. You had an impact. And now the Golden State Warriors are favored by three. Who so knew? who wins the game? game tonight, my friend. Stephen A. Smith, I, I must tell you, now that we're doing these afternoon shows, it's been a little tough to have to sit across from you hour after hour <laughs> after hour looking at that face. I, I love you, but I don't always like you. And yet, I must admit to you, you keep making the case after case after compelling case after powerful point about how the Cavs are going to win tonight. And you're influencing me a little bit, I must say, even though I influence those odds makers. Mm -hmm. But I always tell you, I'm, I'm speaking with the courage of my convictions, and you mock me for that. I'm not speaking now with the courage of my convictions. I, I'm a little shaky about mm -hmm. Golden State winning tonight. And I have swung from Golden State's going to sweep after Kyrie went down, start the parade in the Bay Area, to after what I've seen the last couple of games, does Golden State really have a chance in this series? Seriously, that's, that's where my, my heart is right now. I think, I think Golden State will win tonight. I know you guys don't want to hear that here unless we have some Golden State fans. But I, I, I don't know. That's fine. You should do it. Obviously, Golden State badly needs to win tonight. I am sure of one thing. You will see energy and urgency and intensity from the Golden State Warriors you have not seen since Kyrie went down at the end of game one. And I'm pretty sure you're going to see the MVP tonight because I think Steph Curry, who owes his team a game tonight, will set an early tone. He will pick back up where he left off in the fourth quarter the other night and you have made the point to me that might have been a dangerous thing for to, to let him unleash like that in the fourth quarter for the Cavaliers I think we won't see Steph shooting those indecisive out of rhythm shots that he's against Delhi but in this case I also think we better see the Golden State coach do some coaching I think that Steve Kerr is on something of a hot seat now it's starting to heat up underneath Steve Kerr and I, for one, want to see maybe a strategic brainstorm or two from him. I don't want to see Golden State allow LeBron James to walk the basketball all the way up the floor and all the way into the lane and shoot a shot at the end of the shot clock. LeBron James has owned the pace of this series. That cannot continue tonight, or Golden State is going to fall behind 3-1. to one. And I will remind you, no team has ever come back from 3-1 to one down in a finals. So in the end, I'm going to say that Golden State will increase the pace. Do you realize in Game 4 the other night, I'm sorry, Game 3 the other night, Golden State had four fast break points and Cleveland had five. Five to four Cleveland and fast break. That's absurd that you could hold the Golden State Warriors to four fast break points. If that happens, we're, we're when, looking at 31. When, when they averaged 21 during the regular 21, season. 21. 21. Thank you. You did your homework for this show. Mm -hmm. That's good. For once, mm -hmm. right? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm going to say Golden State hits the century mark for the first time tonight in regulation. I'm going to go 100 to 95 Golden State, and we will have a great series. <laughs> right on cue. A couple of points to make. <clears throat> Of course I do my homework because Skip Bayless doesn't sit alone. That's a fact. That is a fact. Number two, and more importantly, the Cleveland Cavaliers will win the night's game. They will be up 3-1. They will be up 3-1 in this series after tonight. And Tuesday night, game six next week, the Cleveland Cavaliers in the city of Cleveland will be celebrating its first NBA championship. Boy, that, that, 
That's, that's, that's your guts. Yes, it that's did. your guts for you to say. It did. Look at you, you proclamation. Oh, shut up. Oh, knock it off. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, let, let, let's keep in mind that I did say this in Oakland. You did. Okay, and let's you keep did. in mind also that although there was extreme trepidation to the point where I damn near was close to changing my pick because Kyrie Irving mm -hmm. went down, what I have seen in this series has alarmed me considerably. LeBron James averaging 41 and 12 and 8 is one thing. LeBron James... Doing so averaging 47 minutes per game mm -hmm. is cause for concern. I think it's one of those situations when you look at Golden State, you're saying to yourself, desperate times are going to have to call for desperate measures. I think you're going to see them insert David Lee. I think you could potentially see Andrew Bogut and David Lee in the lineup at the same time because Andrew Bogut, whereas a liability offensively, mm -hmm. can give you something defensively and David Lee can give it to you offensively. But in the end, regardless of whether it's Bogut and Lee, whether it's Harrison Barnes, and Draymond Green, you still haven't shown me that you have an answer for LeBron James. And I'm not talking about LeBron James just because he's averaging 41. I'm talking about LeBron James who's literally controlling the series with the palm of his hands. He is, he is dictating pace. He is attacking the hole. And listen, let me tell you something right now about LeBron James. LeBron James is one of those dudes, from what I'm told, the same equipment I mean, everything that you can muster that you have at a team facility, he has in his house. This man takes incredible care of his body. All the hard work, all the sacrifices, all the goals, all the promises to this city, to the Northeast Ohio and beyond. You're two victories away from a championship and a Golden State team that has no experience is going to get in the way of that. I'm not saying it can't happen because I truly believe that collectively Golden State's a better team. And I think that Steph Curry is big time and he will explode tonight. He is coming. I think he's going to drop 40 on y'all tonight. But I don't believe, but I don't believe, I don't believe it's going to be enough. Do you want the show? Then listen. You can cheer. You ain't going to hear me. Listen up. Steph Curry is coming. I'm not playing. This is not a joke. This dude is not somebody that plays above the rim that you could clip him at the knees. You understand? Or you could get physical with him. He can literally stand 30 feet away from the basket and eat you alive. And as you alluded to, Steph Curry got hot, not in the first quarter, but in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. All right? So the next time we're seeing him is when he's fresh off of 17 points in the fourth quarter. I think that's dangerous. And I think as a result, it's going to require the greatness of LeBron James to ward that off. But he's King James. Mm. And if anybody can ward it off, it will be him. It's going to take him to deliver the goods. But he will deliver. LeBron James, whether it's 40, 12, and 8, or whether it's 30, 15, and 8, LeBron James is going to come through tonight because he recognizes a 2-2 two -two tie. With two games in Golden State, potentially, it's not to the benefit of the Cleveland Cavaliers. It will jeopardize everything he has worked for. I simply don't believe that a team devoid of anybody on its roster with a championship pedigree can derail the destiny ride that LeBron James appears to be on. I'm rolling with King James. Yeah. You are preaching to the choir. Literally. Yes, literally preaching to the choir. You still think that Steph is going to drop 40 tonight. I already predicted LeBron would drop 41. So somebody's going to have to outscore somebody else. If Golden State's well, going to win, I got. I need some other help. I think that if you're LeBron, you might have instead of 40 and 12 and 8, you might have 30, 15, and 10 or something along those lines. Whatever he doesn't score in points, he'll register an assist, but he's going to be a part of it. I think you can expect to see a J.R. Smith potentially step up. I think Amon Shepard will do what he's been doing. He's averaging 3.3 uh, steals per game in this yeah. series, okay? But everybody is maxing out. J.A. Adonde wrote a sensational column today on ESPN.com when he's talking about how everybody's maximizing their effort. Tristan Thompson, I think 
Also, you'll see a little bit more of Moskov, who's going to give you problems offensively, you know, for, for Golden State. I think he can score the ball. Tristan Thompson may grab some rebounds, but I think Moskov can put it in the hole. Mm -hmm. Plus, he's a better free throw shooter. They're, Tristan Thompson's averaging like 43. Moskov is at 31. I think that needs to even out a little bit. Tristan, even if Moskov's got to get about 35, 36 minutes, I think he deserves it. I think he can do some damage, and I think it's going to be required because by putting David Lee in the game, he's going to look to attack the basket, and you're going to need a big body down low to be formidable as well. I think mm -hmm. those kind of things we can see happen, and you're right. Steve Kerr, the golden boy, that, 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 that shine is dulling just a touch. Yep. He's got to make some adjustments, and I I think he will. I think he's been saving it for this point. That's why I think you're going to see Lee. I think you're going to see. We're going to find out something about Draymond, Draymond Green and, and Harrison Barnes tonight. I think you might see a little bit more of Bogut, not a little bit less, as awful as he's been. You need to do something defensively because LeBron is getting to the hole at will. And Bogut is the only guy that's going to be able to neutralize him to some degree. But LeBron is not going to shoot 40% the whole series. It's just not going to happen, man. This dude is going to come alive. He's a dude that shot 55% in the playoffs last year. I mean, come on, it's 40% stuff. That ain't LeBron. Somehow, some way, he will get out of these doldrums, and he'll start shooting more accurately. Yeah. And I think tonight's going to be that night. Final five. Here is all I know for sure. In my many, many years of covering NBA Finals, I have never been more intrigued and excited about a Game 4 I agree with than that. I am for this one. I agree with all that. Right, this is four. the series. This could be the series. Yep. Game 4, again, uh, Golden State favored by three. All the Cavs are now favored to win it all. We need you folks at home to do us a favor. Game 4, according to Skip and Stephen A. Pivotal. What do you think? Who will win tonight? Cavs, Warriors? Reply, hashtag FTPick. That's the hashtag FT pick. We will reveal the results a little later on in the show. Also, again, game four tonight.